Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. So in this video, we are going to discuss Geeks for Geeks problem of the day and today's problem is array pair some divisibility problem and it is a medium level problem. So the problem basically says that we have been given an array and we have also been given a value k. We have to find out whether the array can be divided into n by 2 pairs such that each pair, the sum of each pair is divisible by k or not, right. So let us see how we can solve this particular problem. Let us consider the case of 9 first. So we have a value 9 and we have a value k, right. So what value should I add to this particular 9 to make it a multiple of k? This is my rephrased question, right. So one value can be 3 because 9 plus 3 will be equal to 12 and this mod 6 is equal to 0, right. The next value uh, I believe can be 9 itself. So it will become 18 and then mod 6 it will be equal to 0. Then the next value can be 15. So this will be 24 mod 6 0, right. So we have found 3 values 3, 9 and 15. So can you observe something common in these 3 values? So if I take all of them mod with 6, I will get 3 here, mod with 6, I will get 3 here, mod with 6, I will again get 3 here. And if I mod 9 with 6, I am going to get 3 again, right. So in this particular case, they both are same, but they can be different as well. Let me just take another example. So let's say I have 5. So what is the first value with which it can be make a, like a, the sum a multiple of 6 and that is 1 here. Right, because if I add 1 here, it will be equal to 6, the next multiple, the next value can be 7 because 7 plus 5 will be equal to 12 and that is a multiple of 6 as well. So here 5 mod 6 is equal to 5 and here 7 mod 6 or 1 mod 6 is equal to 1, right. So they can be different, this mod value and this mod value can be different, but all of these values which must be added to my initial number 9 to make it a multiple of 6 are same, right. So here you see all the values are mod 6. So how do I actually find this value? Let us say I have my current value in a of i. I take its mod with 6. So this is going to be my current value, right. So I must add some value to this particular value to make it a multiple of 6 and that value should be 6 minus current, right, 6 minus current because I want to, let us say my current value is 3. I want to make it a multiple of 6. So the nearest multiple of 6 will be 6 itself. So I will have to add 3 to it, right. That is why it was 3 here. Now let us say I had 5. So the nearest multiple of 6 is 6 itself. So I need to add 1 to it to make it 6. So this is how you can try to understand this problem. However, this number was not actually 5. We would have, we would have taken its mod with 6 then becomes 5. This is just to find what is the remainder when we divide the particular number by k and then from this value we can find how much we need to add to make it a perfect multiple of 6, right. So 6 minus current can be our uh, needed value. But now you might ask what if the number is already a multiple of 6. So in this case 12 mod 6 will be equal to 0 and if we do 6 minus 0 it will be it is still going to be 0. So that means we need to uh, it is still going to be 6, right. So that means we need to add 6 to the current number to make it a multiple of 6. That is not entirely true. We can take the mod of this particular value, right and then we can figure out what is the minimum value that we need to add in order to make our current number a multiple of 6. So in this particular case 6 mod 6 will again be 0, right. So whenever we encounter a multiple of 0, we know that in minimum we need to add 0 to it to make it a multiple of 6, right. So this is how you can entirely solve this problem by just going through all the values, finding out your current value by doing ai mod 6. So this is the current value that you can find, right. Now you can find what value do you need to add to it to make it a multiple of 6, right. And then you can easily figure out your needed value. Now let us say you will have a frequency map. Let us say you have a frequency map where you add your current value, right. And in future this current value might be needed by some other value, right. So then you can figure out if this value is present or not. If it is present, then you remove this because they both, let us say, let me just take an example. So let us say 9 was here and 3 was here or let us say another 9 was here, right. So this mod 6 came out to be 3. So there was no 3 present in the map. So you added this particular 3 to the map, right. Now you came on to this particular 9. Again, 9 mod 6 comes out to be 3. And the value that you need to make a pair is 3 itself because 6 minus 3 mod 3 is 3. 
So now you need a 3 to make this number a pair with some other number, right? Now you see that you already encountered a 3, right? So you make these two a pair and remove this old one from the map. If this original 3 was not here, you are going to add this particular value to the map, right? Now for a little mathematical derivation, how we, how are we actually going through this particular method? So you see, whenever I do, let's say a plus b mod 6, right? So this is equals to a mod 6 plus b mod 6 whole mod 6, right? So that means their individual mods should be a multiple of 6, right? This is, this was the original idea from where this particular solution has been derived, right? This is easier to understand. That is why I, I try to explain this first. But if you want to find it mathematically, you can also go through this way that this particular value can be expanded to this particular value. So that means instead of writing a and b every time, you can just make them all modulo 6 and then try to make those a multiple of 6. So if all of them are modulo 6, that means all the values will be from 0 to 5. That means the nearest multiple that you can try to make of them is 6 itself, right? So this is what we have, what I have tried to do in this particular problem, right? So let me just show you the code and uh, we'll discuss how it is implemented. So first of all, I've created a map of frequencies. Now I calculate the current value as nums of i mod k. Now I calculate the needed value as k minus current mod k. So if the needed value is already present in the map, I'm going to decrement the frequency of the needed value, right? Because the current value and that particular needed value are going to form a pair together. And if the frequency of the needed value becomes equal to 0, I am just going to remove this particular key from the map, right? So whenever a frequency becomes 0, I am going to remove that key so that only non-zero keys are in the map, right? Now, if this is not the case, if the needed value is not present, I am going to increment the frequency of the current value so that it is available for some other values, right? Now at the end, I am just going to return whether the size of the map is 0 or not because only if it is 0, it is going to return true because uh, whenever I find my pair, I remove the old values from the map, right? So if, even if there is one value, it means some value was not removed and the pairs are not possible. So this was all about this particular problem. Let me just quickly submit this to show you that this particular solution works. So you see possible all the test cases, this solution is absolutely correct. I hope that you guys were able to understand the solution. If you guys did, then consider dropping a like on this video. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments because your engagement with this particular video really, really helps the YouTube algorithm to understand that this video is actually helpful for you and it will be able to reach much more people like you who want to keep solving new problems. So that is it for today. Till the next video drops, keep coding, stay safe. Bye-bye.